it's not just the infrastructure, but also the response capabilities. Um, we have so many more levers to pull in 2022 than we did in 2013. The city of Calgary no longer under a rainfall or flood warning, avoiding fears that parts of the city could be damaged by high water levels. Now with the worst seemingly behind us, the city says its flood mitigation infrastructure did its job when it came to preventing flood damage. The more permanent infrastructure we have, the less we have to respond. A lot has changed in the city since the 2013 floods. An improved storm forecasting platform, flood barriers in at-risk areas, and gates added to the Glenmore Reservoir. These new gates roughly double the storage capacity we have available for flood attenuation and that allows us to take small intermediate sized floods into the reservoir and control the outflow to non-damaging flow rates downstream. Mother Nature also gave some leeway as rainfall amounts were lower than anticipated and some moisture in the mountains came down as snow. The fact that that snow came as part of the event actually limited the amount of liquid water that was available for a runoff and limited the flows that, that occurred downstream. With worry of flooding seemingly out of the way, some are looking at another aspect of water management. When the rain comes down, it, it's, uh, it's not just about being concerned about the flood, it's also about replenishing the reservoirs. Sturgis saying everything went according to plan and now focus should be looking at maintaining water amounts for food producers. Some of the infrastructure projects that have been that have been talked about in, uh, on the uh, irrigation modernization program is exactly that, is how can we continue to hold that, that water in our system to be able to deal with the inevitable drug situation. The city says that additional water storage capacity, if used correctly in combination with forecasting systems, can ensure some longevity to the area's water supply. In Calgary, Jillian Code, City News.